Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series episode 59. Today we're going to be looking at the model view projection matrix. As you would assume, it is the model view matrix combined with the projection matrix to make a singular matrix that will be passing to our shaders. Uh, we're looking at a couple of APIs, since we're looking at the perspective still, and we're going to be using the depth buffer bit, which clears the buffer bit, and the depth test. And so let us get started. All right, so we have a few triangles here. We're going to have this front blue one here, a middle yellow one, and a back green. You can see them here. Um, we're going to go ahead and everything the setup is the same until we get to here. We're going to enable the depth test. This will make ensure that the ordering of all of these is correct um, based off the Z value here. And as we scroll down, we have our X and Y set up for our keys, so you can kind of see the perspective still. And finally, we're going to go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and clear the color buffer bit as well as the depth buffer bit. And we're going to only setting a single uniform this time, the UVP matrix. And as expected during the fragment shader, that's the only thing that's happening in there is the MVP matrix is being set and multiplied by the GL position. Uh, so there's nothing actually new in there, we're just removing the two different matrices and having a singular one. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to show how this is made by setting up four different matrices. We're going to have our our model matrix, our view matrix, and a projection matrix, as well as our MVP matrix. The model matrix is going to be translated. We're going to have the view matrix that's going to have a look at and finally, we're going to have the projection matrix, which is going to set the perspective. And so how do we load all of this into the MVP matrix? First, we're going to start in the reverse order, because if you think of the order of operations within our matrices, as previous episodes explain, we'll have the projection matrix put in, and then the view matrix, finally the model matrix, and this is going to basically clone a copy of uh, the projection matrix, into the MVP matrix, which starts off as the identity matrix. And then this is going to multiply from right to left, as we would expect. Finally, we're going to go ahead and set that MVP matrix onto the MVP matrix uh, within the fragment shader as that uniform and draw. What we're also going to do is we're going to do this again, but we're going to translate the uh, model matrix over, do another copy of everything over, set it again and draw again. This allows us to have all of these triangles displayed twice but translated accordingly. Um, and that's basically it for that aspect of it. Um, but let's go ahead and remove these depth buffer bits and the enable. Uh, so if we refresh here we're still going to end up with what um, we would expect um, but that's because it's smart enough to have the depth test at once, but if we don't set the depth test as well, we're going to end up with these being drawn uh, incorrectly um, because it's going to go through each of these in this order for the first one, the second triangle, and the third triangle. So first, second, third triangle, first, second, third triangle um, as they're drawn because it's not going to take into consideration these Z values here. So each of these Z values not being uh, used. So we need to enable the uh, depth test and we want to clear the buffer bit between every time we draw. So uh, that's basically it. Um, if you like what you saw today, please like this video, share on social media if you will, give it a plus one, and go ahead to programtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.